I'm currently on the other side of my room right now, which is really stupid. So I have to shout because this phone barely picks up audio, even when it's like right in front of my face. So welcome to the video today. Uh, different background, different vibes. I'm currently redecorating, so mm, yeah. Welcome to today's video. We are going thrifting once again, or charity shopping because I don't have thrift stores, but it's the same concept, basically. Now, I'm currently filming this in like the first week of February. I think it's the 7th today, and I have no clue when this video is coming out because I have such a backlog of videos where I've got clips for a ton of different videos, but not a full length video. So I think I've got like five already that are gonna come out before this one does. So this one might be coming out mid-March for all I know. Maybe in even April. Okay, maybe I doubt April, but you know. Anyway, I'm yapping. We're going to the charity shops. I need a couple things, like actual things. I need dark green, which I think I mentioned in a previous video, because I've got the jacket that I quite like that I got last time. Um, I'm going into my neighbouring town, by the way, so it's the same time where I got that jacket, so maybe I'll find some more dark green stuff. Probably not, but I'm going to try. That's not the reason I'm going. I went to this big C charity shop there, which I didn't actually film in there, like, at all, I don't think. Um, but they have, like, fabric stuff, and my next college project's coming up, so I want to get some stuff for that. My friend's birthday is also, for me, next Monday. So it's in a couple of days, and I need to get some... I need to get some stuff for her birthday present because she's getting one of them. Even though we don't usually do presents this year, I'm like, I'll get you a little something. You know, it's all practical stuff, so it's fine. So I need to go pick up some of that. And because of that, I'm going to go to the charity shops anyway because I haven't been since, like, December. So hopefully I'll find some good stuff. So I need to just grab my stuff, catch the bus. Let's go. So first charity shop, I find this corset. I wanted something like this for a while. It was about five quid and I didn't end up getting it so that sucks i also found these shoes there which i think about a lot i wouldn't wear them but i like them oh here i am fit check look at that i found a jojo bow i actually own this one um i thought it was funny that i found it in a charity shop and then the second one i found this fans hoodie i didn't get it i thought it was cute but not cute enough to buy i guess someone had also like donated their entire like Beanie Babies collection, including the iconic Beanie Baby snail. Um, these are all about like three pounds each, so I thought that was pretty cool. And there was a lot of them. And then I found a Squishmallow. I've only ever found a Squishmallow one other time in a charity shop, so this was a really cool find. Um, this is about the same price as the Beanie Babies, so this was like two ninety nine, basically three pounds. I put this back, but then I did go back and get it because I knew one of my friends probably wanted it. I also found um, this like net curtain, which originally I was going to use to decorate my room with. And I found another Jojo bow. My past keeps haunting me. Next charity shop, I found this Tom and Jerry jumper. Not really my style, but I thought it was kind of cute. Same with this Cookie Monster hoodie. Here's the Big C charity shop. This is like the furniture side. It's full of like vintage stuff. And then over here, which I haven't really explored before, had like a ton of vintage like clothes. So I'm just kind of showing them here. I think they're from like a lot of different time periods. But yeah, it was kind of cool. They were really cute. I didn't really look at the prices of stuff. Oh, hello. That's probably the closest we're going to get to a fit check this video. Um, but yeah, no, look, they had hats and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, I then went back and look. They've got this beautiful dress. It is just... Oh, I just really like it. I should go there more often, to be fair. And then they had some stuff on this table. Actually, no, this is probably going to be the closest you get to a fit check. Look at that. Iconic. So then we go into the second side, which has, like, all the craft stuff. And they have, like, all sorts of different things for different craft projects. But here's the... um like haberdashery side so they've got all like the threads and that they had other stuff as well that i just didn't film they've got like pattern pieces and, and like fabric like on the roll or 
just like scraps of stuff i guess i don't know and then oh here's some chips you know just to finish off the day they were pretty good so it's been about a month since i did this shopping trip um yeah sorry college is kind of taken over a bit um but yeah here is the haul i didn't get much i mean i got stuff i went to go get my friend a birthday present which i was successful at which i can't show you now because i've already given it to her but it was just basically some fabric and some thread and i think i gave her some beads as well i think that's yeah that's about what i got i also got some fabric for myself i also got some threads for myself and i also got some beads for myself um, the packets of like beads and stuff were like 50p each, the thread that I got was also 50p each and the fabric that I got was like scraps of fabric where you basically got like this big plastic bag and you could just fill it with the scraps for like a pound. So I did that, I filled it with like scraps for her, scraps for me and then I kind of like like split them up and then gave her her ones and stuff which she really liked which is good. Um, but yeah so I got that stuff but I've also got some other stuff as well like clothing wise. So starting off with I think the only bit of clothing I got was this cropped white hoodie. Now this is a medium, it's a little bit short on the arms, um, but apart from that, it's quite good. It's quite thick, which I like. Um, I have worn this quite a bit since I've got it, um, which I might do another styling video and I can show you the ways that I've styled this sort of thing. But yeah, no, I've worn this to college a bit, I've just worn it out, it's comfortable, it's nice, it's warm. I mean, as warm as a crop jacket can be, <laughs> but yeah, no. It's quite nice and I like it. And I, that was like four pounds, I think. Yeah. And that was like one of the last charity shops I went into as well. Because this trip wasn't the most successful. There wasn't that much stuff that I wanted. I don't know. Next thing I got was this. <laughs> you can't see it because it's so thin. But I got like this net curtain and there's like a lot of it. Like. Uh, this was about like two pounds or two pounds 29 or something or 59 i don't know um now originally i got this because i wanted to do a little canopy thing above my bed um however this is most likely going to be used for my college project because currently working on that um at the time i'd only just started so it's like mood boards and stuff so i didn't think i was going to need it for that but now i'm getting closer to actually designing it and then probably thinking about constructing it and i've realized i need light flowy fabrics um so i bought so now I'm glad I've got that, but saying goodbye to the canopy idea above my bed. Probably not the worst thing in the world. Um, I've also bought more of this stuff, like, I mean, since then, so I'll probably do another video of it. Um, but yeah, so that's not interesting at all. The last thing I did find was a Squishmallow. So I have barely bought any Squishmallows this year, and the funny thing is, this isn't even for me. Um, this is uh, for a friend of mine, which is really weird, because the night before I was speaking to him, and he really likes foxes. And I don't know, I just started sending him like different Squishmallow fox pictures. I'm like, yeah, like you can get this one, you get this one. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. And he's like, oh my God, I actually want one of them. And I was like, oh, okay, well, if I see one I like in a shop, I would get it for you. And out of all the fox ones, I was like, hey, do you like this? Do you like this one? I never sent him this one because I thought, okay, pear fox, it's a bit weird. And then I go to the charity shops the next day and I come across one. So it doesn't have the tag because it's secondhand. It's a bit, the some of the stuffing's a bit lumpy inside, but it's not too bad. It's got the shiny ears. I love the shiny ears. But yeah, apart from that, it's like in good condition and stuff. So this is about like two pounds. Yeah, two pounds ninety nine. So basically like three pounds. Brand new would have been nine. So steal. Um, it's actually funny because he lives by the charity shops, but he wasn't at home at the time, so I couldn't just go give it to him. And I was like, okay, yeah, no, it's fine. We'll have to meet up at some point, and I can give it to you. And then we ended up meeting up later that month, or like a couple weeks later, and then I didn't give it to him because wasn't at home so I do need to message him at some point like hey we need to meet up so I can give you your squishmallow but yeah he really likes it he thinks it's very cute and I'm very excited to give it to him but yeah that is a pretty cool find that's the second squishmallow I found in the charity shop now so sometimes you just get lucky but yeah so that was my very small haul for this video uh sometimes it's just nice to go around the charity shops just have a little look at stuff but sometimes it is annoying when I just don't find anything um but sometimes I'm just extra picky or sometimes there's just nothing but overall, this has been, most of this stuff was actually ended up being gifts for people, but the stuff that I did get is quite useful. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, maybe consider liking. And if you want to see more little stuff like this, consider subscribing. I post fashion content like this with mostly thrift hauls and sometimes styling ones, which I have done before, so I recommend you go check that out. And I can do more like that. I also do Squishmallow content. Uh, so if you're interested in that, 
you know, stick around, maybe go check those videos out because I do have more of them coming very soon. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this video and I'll see you in another one. Bye.